Oh yeah, two videos in one day. <laughs> Alright guys, now about four hours ago I posted a video called Top 5 Hot Wheels Monster Jam Trucks I Bet You Don't Have. Now if you listened in that video, I said I was going to include trucks that were released in the case throughout the years, not exclusive trucks. Well, you know, after reading the comments and realizing a lot of you guys had some of the trucks, and you know, some of you guys of course didn't have all the trucks, I decided... Now, I'm going to get the hard ones in here. Now, I'm going to show you top five trucks I know some of you, if not all of you, don't have at least one of these trucks in your collection. So, let's start off with number five. Now, this one I know some of you guys have, and I know some of you guys don't have it. So, um, you know, you just had to get lucky with this one. Holiday Hauler. 2011, I think. This truck was released. I could be wrong. I don't know the exact year, but Holiday Hauler. This truck came in a random surprise packaging with like a Christmas present around it, and you could get one of up to six trucks in there, and one of them was Holiday Hauler. I was just so lucky and happened to get this truck for Christmas. Actually got two of the mystery trucks for Christmas, this and um, the other one ended up being Air Force Afterburner, but you know, I was so happy I got this truck because this was a Christmas exclusive, and um... You just had to get lucky, and I know there's a code on the back of the package that, um, you know, if you knew, uh, knew the code, you'd know what truck it would be. Like, this would be, like, 00001, and then that would be ho the uh, Holiday Hauler. But, um, you know, I ranked this one at number five. There's a lot of dust, if you can see my thumb moving. It's just dusty up in this corner because it's been sitting for a while. All right, now, like I said, I ranked this truck at number five because I know a lot of you guys may have, <clears throat> a lot of you guys may have this truck, of course, but, you know, it is one of these hard trucks to come by. You had to get lucky to get it, so I will put Holiday Hauler at number five. Okay, you like the background? It's no longer the Geico, it's the Ringside Collectibles. <laughs> All right, so now, at number four, exclusively in the Crunch Force six-pack, Snowhawk. Oh yeah, Snowhawk. Snowhawk came with Hall and Heat, but I don't want to feature Hall and Heat in this because Snowhawk, from what I've been researching, is more rarer than Hall and Heat because Hall and Heat, I believe there's a few of them on eBay. I don't know about Snowhawk, and that's why I rank Snowhawk at number four because you can only get this truck in a six-pack in the Crunch Force back in 2003. So yeah, this is Snowhawk. You know, once I saw this truck, I don't know. Some guy made a Hot Wheels Monster Jam collection on YouTube, but then he deleted it, and one of the trucks he had was Snowhawk. And then, you know, thinking it was a custom, I found out it was real, so I did find it on eBay for, like, I don't know, $20 I think I got this truck for on eBay. And uh, I vowed that my collection wouldn't be complete unless I had Snowhawk and Hall and Heat. And there's Snowhawk, and you know what, hold on, let me get Hall and Heat real quick. Alright, I'm back. Do you even believe I paused the camera? Because I have it angled so it won't move. Alright, here's Hall and Heat for those of you wondering. I do have them both. I did buy them both separately on eBay. Hall and Heat I think I got for like $21. Um, like I said, I paid at least $20 each for both of these trucks because they're exclusives. And Hall and Heat only does have that little paint chip right there, but that's it. Overall, the truck is in mint condition and that really doesn't bother me at all. But, so, both of these trucks came exclusively in the Crunch Force 6-pack and, uh, you know, they are VHTF. Very hard to find. But, you know, I would rank Hall and Heat, but, you know, because Hall and Heat and Snowhawk are both... Eh, you know what? Whatever. I'll just rank them both at number five. So, Hall and Heat and Snowhawk, the dynamic duo, whatever you want to call them, I'll rank them at number four. Now then, at number three, another... Um, I wouldn't say accessory exclusive. I don't know how you would say it, but the World Finals Monster Jam truck. Yeah, this truck came exclusively with some World Finals Showdown playset or something. The only reason I got this is because the playset was on clearance in Target. I think this was during 2010, the Flag Series. Um, it, it was on clearance at uh, Toys R Us. Did I say Target? I don't know. I don't remember. But, like I said, it was on clearance. Um, you know, it was there was a lot of them there. It was probably $10, the whole set. And the World Finals truck was in there. And, you know, I thought it would be pretty cool to have this. So, what the heck, I got it. So, yeah, here's the World Finals truck. There's two uh, World Finals trucks. Um, one that came with, like, um, obstacle course things, like with the, the uh, Ramp of Victory is what I called it. Um, like, little cones, crush cars, stuff like that. But, you know, this one was more rare, I guess you could say, because it came in the set and it came out later. I don't know. I really don't know the history, but I just want to say this World Finals truck deserves to be in the top five, and I rank it at number three, so... You know, you can only get this truck if you got the whole set, so if you got the whole set, you got this truck, and if you still have it, keep it, because this thing is awesome. 
It is straight up the Monster Jam World Finals truck. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> oh man, I should do top five, top tens more often. All right, so at number two, if you smell what the rock is cooking. They made, I think, six WWE trucks in 2007. The Rock, Stone Cold, John Cena, uh, Batista, and The Undertaker and Rey Mysterio. But then The Undertaker truck got discontinued and they replaced it with a Triple H truck, but I have not seen the Rey Mysterio and Triple H truck or Undertaker truck on eBay. Just The Rock, Batista, John Cena, and Stone Cold. And I just so happened to get lucky and get The Rock and Stone Cold. Now, Stone Cold, like I said, I have like at least two trucks from exclusive sets. There's two World Finals trucks. Got Snowhawk Hall and Heat. But you know, I rank Snowhawk because you know I haven't seen it on eBay in a while. And I guess the Rock because I've seen the Rock on eBay going for over thirty dollars. And just because this truck I, I did unbox it because, you know, it's a plastic based truck. I mean I would unbox plastic based trucks unless I have duplicates of them. So I would definitely rank the gold rim rock truck at number two because it's a WWE truck. We got w we got duh, we got WCW trucks, obviously Sting, Nitro, Goldberg. But then we got WWE trucks, finally the Rock. So I'll put the Rock at number two. Now number one, this one I can guarantee a lot of you probably you know I'm just gonna say ninety percent of you probably don't have this truck, and I'm just gonna say the other ten percent of you are just lucky. At number one, I honestly doubt. The Bell Helmets Monster Truck. Mm-hmm. A lot of you probably saw this one coming. You know, actually, you know what? A lot of you probably thought, oh, Goldberg's number one. No. No, no, no. Bell Helmets. This truck was exclusively sold with an actual Bell Helmet helmet that you could ride or, with a motorcycle with. I got this on eBay for $10 about three years ago, I want to say. This truck is just... Awesome. I saw this. This truck was like a promo picture on this website I was looking at. And I, you know, I said, oh, cool, that's a cool custom truck. Then I found out the thing was real, and this is it. Bell helmets. Basically, flat black truck with flames on it. Red chassis, roll cage, I guess, red rims. Average, just flame truck in there. It says, if I can get it to focus. Oh, God, I don't want to break it. it. Has no paint chips. That's my luck. It says, Bell Sports. Mm-hmm. And Hot Wheels. And, yeah. So, honestly, this truck is probably... Oh, jeez. As I was saying, this truck is probably, if not one of the most rarest and hardest trucks to find ever. But it doesn't matter! Because the... All right, so... Sorry, I had to do that. All right, so that's it, guys. I don't know what else to say. That is, obviously, you know, a pretty good list, if you ask me. Top five trucks I bet you don't have. I don't know. You tell me what your top five would be. If you have them, you don't have them, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to get into this top five, top ten countdown thing more because, you know, I like it. But, uh, yeah, so if you thought the last video I posted, the top five trucks I bet you don't have, you thought that was nothing, well, look at this video. Think about that again. <laughs> All right. So uh, thanks for watching, and um, I don't know what my next video will be, so stay tuned. Oh, yeah. One, la oh, one last thing. Hashtag the Cyclops is coming.